Hi Taurus, this is your September 13th through September 19th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly readings. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. This first spread is on new love this week. We have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Knight of Cups. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Magician clarified by Justice. In the potential outcome we have the King of Cups with the Ace of Cups and uh, the Will of Fortune. And we also have uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. You could also be dealing with a Libra. I'm pretty sure you'll be dealing with a Water Sign. Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces. We have both the Knight of Cups and the King of Cups. We also have the Ace of Cups, right? Uh, male or female absolutely doesn't matter. This is a very specific story, I think. Um, if you are a Taurus who either decided to take this week off and uh, don't get disturbed, perhaps you travel this week someplace warm and you're just chilling on the beach, or perhaps uh, you've lost all hope that uh, you'll ever meet the person for you. Well, I've got some news for you. <laughs> Your peace is going to be disturbed. So there you are with the Four of Swords, the third card from the left. This is uh, somebody who's laying down, right? But this is the slowest card out of pretty much all cards in the tarot deck. Nothing is happening in the Four of Swords. Or with the Four of Swords, somebody taking a break, somebody is isolating themselves from everybody, but I think in this case, this is just you, like I said, either taking a break or you've uh, said goodbye to your love life at, at this point. The Eight of Wands, clarified by the Knight of Cups on the left, is um, somebody coming in. Somebody coming in rather quickly because uh, the Eight of Wands is one of the fastest cards in the deck. And you see how the Four of Swords is one of the slowest cards in the deck. And uh, the Eight of Wands right next to it is one of the fastest cards. So things are going to turn around for you. Things are going to change. Things are going to shift. <laughs> the uh, Eight of Wands is qualified by the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is this water sign coming into your life. Um, perhaps you'll meet this person on that beach. Or perhaps you'll step out for a quick jog, uh, just not to uh, gain weight, because <laughs> you need some exercise, right? I'm kidding. Um, this person is going to come in really quickly with the 801s, right? Um, yeah, and uh, they've got a lot of love for you. They really do, because we also have the Ace of Cups and the potential outcome, and we'll talk about that in just a second. And I think this person is going to be um, really into you. Because we have the Magician, clarified by Justice, right next to the Four of Swords. I kind of see those two cards as action cards. The Magician is an action card, and Justice, um, it could be a card of the legal system, and by that I mean the Justice card could represent an actual place where people get married, like a chapel, or uh, Justice could represent um, an actual person who's got the authority to marry other people. So Justice could be a minister, a priest, a county clerk, right? Since uh, it's clarifying the magician, then to me what that means is this is what this person is manifesting, right? They do want to commit to you. They're manifesting this commitment with you. Perhaps they'll fall for you really quickly. Right, they'll, um, and th that's what they'll want to do. The Magician is not only a manifestation card, like I said, this is also a card of action. This is uh, them actively doing something, right? And that's what the Knight of Cups with the Eight of Wands are all about, the first two cards on the left, right? These are action cards, really quick action with the Eight of Wands. We also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, all the way to your right. The Ten of Pentacles is uh, one of the commitment or marriage cards in the deck. The Ten of Pentacles is a very serious, very grounded, very stable, very long-term type of a connection that this person wants with you, or that's the potential between the two of you. I really like the fact that this card came out on the bottom of the deck. I really do. Um, this card is also when two people buy real estate together, they grow old together, they have children together, if that is still an option for them. So things are looking pretty good. In the potential outcome, we have that King of Cups with the Ace of Cups and the Will of Fortune. So the King of Cups is the same person we see in the Knight of Cups, most likely a water sign, Kansas Scorpio or Pisces. And the 
that the Ace of Cups is sort of similar energy with the Nine of Cups. It's all about love, it's all about genuine, very authentic emotions that this person has for you or will have for you soon after the two of you get acquainted. And the last card I came out is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is also a pretty fast card, right? The Wheel of Fortune could symbolize travel plans. So they could be traveling to see you or perhaps you're meeting someplace remote, like I said, perhaps you're taking some time off someplace warm, right? Or the Wheel of Fortune, if we want to stay general, it's all about um, a starting a new cycle between you and this person. And since it's in the potential outcome, this is the two of you taking this connection to the next level, whatever that level is going to be for you. And the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck right next to it, like I said, it is a commitment or marriage card, so this is where the two of you could be heading, right? At least that's what this person wants coming into your life. They truly do want that with the Magician and the Justice card, right? And uh, with the Eight of Wands, things are going to take off really quickly. <laughs> so yeah, if, uh, if you got plans for this week to just relax and chill and don't get disturbed, I got some news for you here, like I said in the beginning of this reading, uh, I don't think those plans are going to come come through. Quite the opposite. I think it's going to be a very active week, but I think you're going to like it with this person coming into your life. Very loving person, very dedicated person, and uh, they want to commit. Alright, Taurus, really happy for you. Congratulations. Taurus, if you are already married or if you are in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Emperor, clarified by the Page of Pentacles, we have uh, the Three of Cups, we have the Four of Wands, and we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries. I see a celebration here. It could be a birthday party, it could be an anniversary, it could be a family reunion, or you could just be getting together for um, drinks or something here. But there's definitely people gathering up together. The Emperor, the first card I came out, uh, could be an Aries you're dealing with, right? The Emperor is the personal Aries card. Or the Emperor could be somebody who is a figure of authority, it could be a father finger, it could be a husband or a significant other finger. So it could be your significant other, it could be your boyfriend, your girlfriend, or it could be somebody else, like your father or their father, whatever, right? There's definitely someone here with the Emperor card. <laughs> um, the Emperor is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is something tangible, something you can touch. So I do see gifts being um, given to either you or other people, or there's people exchanging gifts, uh, right? And uh, the Three of Cups in the middle, this is a card of a celebration, or a party, or a gathering, or a union, or a family reunion. The Four of Wands right next to the deck, this says a card of a family, or a relationship, right? And uh, you see there's two people in the middle of that Four of Wands, so they're greeting the guests, Right, and uh, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, it could be a card of travel, so you could be traveling someplace where there is this event happening, or somebody could be traveling to see you, or since if this is an anniversary or someone's birthday party, then yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle, a new year, right, than this event. Somebody turns 50 or 60, <laughs> right, so that's a new year, a new cycle starting. Um, so yeah, I do see everybody having a great time. All right, cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you tours this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. So it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. We have the seven of wands, clarified by the four of cups. We have the world. We have the four of pentacles, and we also have judgment on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. So we don't have any court cards here. I clarified one of the cards, still no court cards. Um, I do see you getting a little bit even aggressive towards this person, right? You're going to be very decisive and uh, you'll want to push this person out of your life. And uh, for some of you, you, you already thought that this was over, the saga was completed, but uh, this person decided to bit the dead horse, I guess. And uh, you're just going to tell them, you know what, this is done. I don't want to have anything to do with you. Right, so whatever their zodiac sign is, you know, it's still a no-go for them. Anyway, we've got judgment all the way um, on, the, on the right, so on the bottom of the deck. This is a card of somebody coming back from the past trying to resurrect this 
connection. And uh, I think the rest of the spread, this is your energy, right? The seven of wands clarified by the four of cups all the way on the left. This is your energy. This is you pushing this person out of your life. You're standing your ground. And uh, like I said, for some of you if, you, if they don't get the point across the first time around, you will have uh, a few things to say to this person. Uh, the Four of Cups, clarifying the Seven of Wands, pretty much confirms what I was just saying. The Four of Cups is a card of a rejection, right? The world in the middle, this is a card of an ending, this is a happy end. So by that I mean once uh, you tell them what you think, hopefully they'll just leave you alone and never ever resurface in your life and you'll be happy without this person in your life. The Four of Pentacles right next to the deck. This is also your energy. This is you remaining closed off, not sharing emotionally uh, in terms of not wanting to give this person a second chance. You will share some emotions with them if you have to with that seven on ones, but they're not going to like them. But in terms of love, actual feelings, nope, this is done. You're sending this person back to the past where they belong. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Taurus. Uh, this week we have the Devil, we have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands clarified by the Seven of Cups, and we also have the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Capricorn. So you will have a very tempting offer coming towards you this week, Taurus. But your initial reaction is going to be, hmm, I don't know. I think you're going to... Um, cheat me out of my money or something is wrong with this offer. It looks too good to be true. Right, so the first card I came out is the devil. The devil is the personal Capricorn card. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or the devil is all about this offer being very, very tempting. Or the devil is um, you realizing that if you were to accept this new job, then you'll be literally chained down to your desk. You'll have to work much longer hours you'll just be married to your job, right, with the devil card. Uh, but the money, the offer itself, looks good, it looks legit. The Ace of Pentacles, the next card over this is the offer, right there. It, if uh, it's just about money in this case, uh, it's more money than you currently make, or perhaps they will throw in um, like stock options or sign up bonus or um, a semi-annual bonus, something among those lines. It'll, it'll look like a very nice little carrot <laughs> that they'll be dangling in front of you. However, your reaction is going to be, I'm not so sure, I need to do some research, I think you're lying to me, um, or this offer could be coming from somebody you already know and uh, they uh, uh, sort of whatever, they, whatever business the two of you did in the past, it just fell through for whatever reason, right? And that's why you're being very cautious about it. Speaking of being cautious, the nine of ones, the next card after the Ace of Pentacles, this is your energy, this is your initial reaction. Uh, this is a card of a wounded warrior and this is a card of somebody who's suspicious, somebody who puts up a wall between themselves and uh, the person they're dealing with, the Seven of Cups. Uh, clarifying the nine of ones, this is a card of a confusion, this is a card of not knowing exactly how to React. This is a card of uh, somebody who is trying to get to the bottom of, of whatever this offer is all about. Then the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right. This is you uh, just sort of juggling the idea of uh, should I accept this offer or not. Perhaps you'll need to do some research. You'll need to ask around for an advice. Right? You'll need time. This is not a known, no, but uh, this is a uh, maybe. This is, um, I don't know, I need to think about that. But the offer is very tempting. Alright? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen to us this week. We have the High Priestess, we have the Three of Cups clarified by Judgment, we have the Two of Wands clarified by the Fool, and we also have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Uh, what you're not expecting is somebody wants to um, reconnect or reunite with you. And I clarified some cards, but I don't have any court cards, so it's going to be a total surprise for you. <laughs> Speaking of surprises, the first card I came out is the High Priestess. The High Priestess is about something hidden, right? So perhaps you're not supposed to know right now, <laughs> right? Um, the Three of Cups, the next card over, this is a card of reunion, but I think in this case this is a card of a reunion. Judgment, clarifying the Three of Cups, this is a card of somebody coming from 
coming back from the past. The Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right is also in this case somebody coming back from the past. And once they have uh, made you an offer to reunite or reconnect, and by the way, the nature of this connection, the nature of this relationship could be anything, could be a love interest, could be a friend, a family member, somebody you went to school with, whoever. So once that request to reconnect or reunite comes in, you'll be uh, making a decision with the two of ones, and clarified by the fool whether to give this person a second chance or not. The two of ones, this is you thinking, this is you uh, making that decision and the fool is all about uh, second chance with this person. Alright, so that's what I got for you Taurus for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. And other than that, Taurus, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.